wonderful morning, Green Tom. So this is Rafty Destiny, and this morning I'm going to perform grafting, attaching rootstock with air layering. So grafting and air layering. If you want to know more on how to do this, this video is for you. As you could remember guys, this is the marketed lemon that I have performed on my previous video. This is how it looks like now after 4 months. So before we will perform our grafting method, so we really need to disinfect our grafting tools first in order for our grafting method to be 100% successful. So first part of our project is to prepare the stem for air layering. I just remove these leaves first for the grafting later. We also need to disinfect the stem to avoid the formation of fungus on our grafted branch. Now, make a cut across the bark, then make a T-cut, then carefully lift the kerners to loosen the bark which uh, we can then remove. Then uh, let's carefully scrape off the cambial tissue to avoid healing or formation of new skin. As an alternative to moss, here I just use tree fern roots as a rooting medium. Place this to the debarked stem and wrap this with a plastic. And don't forget to moisten it before securing both ends. I just used zip tie because I find it convenient, though you can use any available tie at home. So I have here my healthy lemon root stock which I am going to attach to the mother plant or the scion. Cut off the rootstock leaving a stub of at least 4 to 5 inches, then remove the leaves. Make a vertical 1 inch long slanting cut on the top end of the rootstock, then also do a slight cut on the back portion to create that V-tip effect. So next step, on the scion, Carefully cut a slit upward, then create a cut underneath about 1 inch, leaving a tongue of 1 cm long. Okay, so uh, let me secure the rootstock to the mother plant first before I proceed to our next step. Now, carefully insert the rootstock to the scion and cover the graft with a grafting tape. Or you can use other tapes of your preference. Just make sure the cambium of both rootstock and scion meat. Uh, don't forget to secure the graft by tying them up. Again, I like to use a zip tie because it is less hassle. Okay guys, so at last we're done. Uh, we just have to wait for one month before we can remove the grafted branch from the mother plant. After the whole thing is done, so you need to put tin foil. But if you don't have tin foil, you can make use of any silver coated or, or silver colored plastic, just like Fita. The reflecting silver covering is used to block the sun rays, preventing it from penetrating to the grafting wound. Hello Green Thumb! So today is exactly the third week since I grafted this lemon and it's now time to remove the grafted part from the mother plant. Look at the roots peeking from the marketed portion and even on the grafted area. So amazing! Here I'm using my iron saw to cut the scion off from the mother plant. Now, we have successfully grafted a scion to the rootstock with the marketed end that serves as secondary root system. Now it's time to remove the grafting tape and ties. Just be careful on the roots. I'm so happy on how this turned out. Look at those two branches who were successfully grafted. It's planting time! And that's how you do grafting with air layering. So, finally, we're done. Actually, this is my first time doing this and I'm so happy with the results. Pretty sure you can do this too. 
So, let me share to you additional tips for successful grafting. Do not touch the exposed tissue of the rootstock and scion to avoid contamination. Once you've made a cut on the scion and rootstock, immediately complete the grafting process. This would help prevent dehydration on the exposed tissue of the branches. And that's it! I hope you learned something on this video. Once again, this is Rafi Destiny for Rafi's Green Thumb. Be a green thumb! Bye-bye!